Let's take a look at what is going on in the business world today. And uh, central bank watch continues with the US Federal Reserve opting to hold interest rates steady overnight. While here at home, RBA Chair Philip Lowe is preparing to give a speech on the all-important labour market. Sky News business reporter Chris Collar joins me now. Chris, uh, the expectation is always key. I should say the expectation versus what happens today with Philip Lowe's speech. So uh, what are we looking for? It's, uh... An important uh, uh, speech here from Philip Lowe in Adelaide at 12.30 or, or 12 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. Uh, the reason for that is that the Reserve Bank has made it extremely clear that it is watching the labour market very closely when it comes up with its, labor, uh, with, with its uh, interest rate movements. Now, today we are expecting that, um, that Philip Lowe is going to kind of continue with what the Reserve Bank has been saying. Lucy Ellis, not too long ago, actually said that, well, full unemployment or the unemployment rate that we should be hoping for is probably closer to 4.5%, which is a long way below where it is right now at 5.2%. So the expectation is that Philip Lowe will just take that further, continue with that dovish line and give the market no reason to expect that we won't see multiple interest rate cuts this year. And uh, as we look at the ASX this morning, Chris, what's going on? Yep, we've opened just a, a squeak higher, basically flat this morning, 6,649 points. Now, it's worth mentioning that, of course, yesterday we hit a new 11.5-year higher, so even a flat result today is still pretty healthy. It puts the uh, ASX 200 up 17.5% in the year to date. Looking across the market, and it is miners and energy stocks lagging with banks uh, and major financial institutions pushing higher. Caltex has been absolutely smashed today. It was down as much as 22% early after it's, uh, it said that it could see a, a first-half profit drop of uh, around 50%. So shares getting absolutely creamed on the back of that. It says that high crude prices, low Australian dollar and a slowing Australian economy are behind that. So that's certainly one to keep an eye out for today. Chris Kohler, thank you.